Hello everyone and welcome to Planet Zoo. We, uh, I've, I've been playing this game on and off for a while now and I actually fully do enjoy playing this game. It's a pretty chillaxing one. And the reason why we're doing this today is because there has been a new DLC that's come out called the Grasslands Pack, which introduces a bunch of grassland creatures like armadillos and so forth. Now, I haven't played this game in about 12 months, so almost a year. This is going to be a learning curve to try and remember how to play this game right from the go. Right, okay, so these are our facilities, and these are, yes, I'm remembering how this game works now. The first thing we want to do is we actually probably want to build some paths, and we want it to be wide. Yes, and I believe it has to come from here. No? How does one <laughs> how does one play this game again? This is a very good question. Now this series will probably be a lot of fast forwarding involved. Align to grid. Or didn't want that. Um, okay, let's, let us just, um, so this is going to be the entranceway into the zoo, and we're going to do, we're going to expand down the left-hand side here to begin with, uh, and I think we're going to have some facilities. So for the zoo to run, we need to have some staff facilities. And we can, we're not going to go with the African theme at the moment because that is not what we're going to be focusing on. So we need to buy ourselves a zookeeper's hut. We're going to start off small. We're going to start off small and we are going to... Just trying to remember how to rotate things. No. Rotate is Z. Yes. Okay, of course. Z to rotate. That makes a lot of sense. I say that with a lot of sarcasm. Alright, so we're going to have a zookeeper's hut, and we're going to put it down here like so. Uh, we need they need a quarantine hut. Quarantine huts are very important. So if an animal comes into the zoo and it is sick, it doesn't transmit its diseases to the other creatures that it will be sharing the pen. Pen? That's not the right word. We also need to have a research center. And to staff all these people, we need a staff room, like so. And finally, we need to have a, or oh, a couple of finalies. We've got to have, to have to have a trade center. Trade center is where we go to purchase animals, bring them into the zoo and so forth. And then we've also got the surgery, and this is obviously where the animals have to get taken if they are sick or are injured. So we'll slap that right next to that as well. That, now that's all our staff, all the amenities for that for the staff that are put, put, put down, we now need to put down our very own footpath to connect them to the zoo. Boom, like that. We are going to have the footpath going to be about eight meters wide. We're going to have it coming along here like so. And then we're probably going to have a connecting path coming from here. Out like there, like so. We now need to have a look at some of the animals that we want to have in the zoo. And because this is going to be the grasslands pack, we are going to have a look at getting some animals in. Uh, species search? No. Is there a way to go by DLC? Alright. Give me a second. Alright, we have the choice of the blue wildebeest, the caracal, emu, manned, maned wolf, Nine banded armadillo, red necked wallaby, striped hyena, cloudless sulfur, 
European Peacock, Minalis Blue, Morpho, Monarch, Old World, Swallowtail. We're going to go with the Caracal. I'm going to see if we can't find ourselves a couple of Caracals. Let's have a look at the Caracals. And we are going to purchase... Oh, before we do that, before we do that, we're going to have to look up our Wikipedia for them. So this is the Wikipedia. This tells you everything you need to know about them. Uh, all the an animals. So let's just search up Caracal. Okay. Population wild unknown. Natural habitat. They like deserts. They like grasslands. They like temperate. So they don't want any water. They need at least 534 square meters. That's doable. And at least 81 square meters of climbing. That's fine. Okay. Species data. Life expectancy about 18 years. That's pretty good. So the bachelor size. Okay, so there can only be a group of two. Yes. Relations with humans. Shy. Okay. Yep. Okay. So what this is telling me is we're going to have to have a glass window and the glass window is going to be tinted so that these guys can't see out, but we can, us humans can see in. Cool. That's everything I needed to know. So let us go to animal trading. Let us go to the caracals. Let us get a younger female and get ourselves a younger male. Uh, get the one with the better stats. So they're waiting in the trade center. Won't do anything just yet. We need to build the enclosure for them first. The way I'm thinking of setting up the zoo is so that the keepers can come in through the back and the people can look at the front. That's pretty much how I'm going to set this up. So we're going to set up our barriers. Height is going to be... Ooh. Window is going to be one-way glass. And the height is barrier top. Uh, let's just keep it at the way it is. Trying to remember how to increase the height of these. Let's just have a quick look. Just for ah yes, shift. Yep, so we want that glass. One way glass. Yes, we want one way glass. Yes, it's, it's click and drag. It's having about five-ish meters. So does that count as a habitat? It does. We're going to call this the Caracal Habitat. We've got given them 1,300 square meters. That is perfect. But the glass is around the wrong way. So we need to edit the barrier. So we want to go from here to around about there like so. And we need to reverse the glass. There we go. They can't see out. We can see in. Perfect. Now, pathing. go like that for the time being so we're going to have the caracals in here perfect Right, now we need to hire some staff. We do have a vet surgery, I'm pretty sure. We don't have a vet surgery. Oh, I've completely forgot about that. Um, okay, let's uh, go back to paths. Quickly get rid of all this. Bam. Get rid of that one. There we go. Not the cleanest of paths I've laid, but I completely forgot about the veteran the veterinary clinic. That's on me. And what we can also do is just edit this barrier just a little bit more. So we can actually bring that out. Something like that. And then click on this one. Bring it out like that. Alright, now we need to hire some staff. And I can't remember how to do that. It's been a year. Zoo. We go down to zoo. We click on staff. And we go caretaker. Hire a caretaker. And then we go back. We go to keeper. Bam. Mechanic. Bam. Don't need security yet. We don't need a vendor yet. We need a vet. 
bam new work zone this is going to be the work zone of the zookeeper go like that go like that and we're going to call this not work zone one we're going to call this caracal zoo keeper caracal work zone and to assign that a person to that we go zookeeper and we go to put you into that one now ideally you will expand the work zones as well in time right mr repairman you need a new work zone mr repairman needs to be in do all the technical stuff so he does that he maintains all these buildings as well as this work zone and when we get to, uh, bring in toilets and stuff for the people visiting the zoo we'll be getting him to do that as well because this whole thing is to repair and then we're going to sign you to the maintenance work zone but first well, let's just decorate this area that we've got so far Cool. let's just do that that way if you're a guest going past you oh that's what's going on down oh okay whatever don't really see anything and we could probably you know just keep chucking a little bit more on so it just makes it all that so much harder to be able to see down there perfection all right that's that done i always do this every time i make a zoo in this game now we need to get on to making sure that We've got the vet doing vet things. Okay. We need to make a new work zone for our vet. Cool. And now we assign you to that. Right. We need to now cater for our guests. This is all temporary over here. We are going to be expanding the zoo down that way first. And then after we've done that, we are then going to go down that way. And then we're going to go down that way. That way. We're going to basically go around the outside first. And then we're going to fill out the interior. And we want an information shop. And you're probably asking, so far, Cat, why didn't you just put anything in here? Well, that's because we're going to put another enclosure in here as well. So the last thing we want to do is we want rubbish bins. Donation box. This will help out quite a bit. Something like that. That'll do. Rubbish bins. Here we go. $10. We're going to have two of those. We're going to have one here. And we're going to place one about there. Now all we need to do is basically get the caracals in there and do some research on them whilst we're doing it. First we need to have a bit of verticality for the caracals to play around with. Now let us hit play, and now we go to, not rewards, animal storage. We've got antelopes? Oh, okay. Send to zoo, and we want them to probably go to the quarantine first. You can now be, collect all of you, move. And naturally, they run to the ne nearest shelter. Oh, look at them, though. God, they're cute. Uh, if we click on the animals themselves, we can say that see that they've got a lot of stuff that doesn't make them quite happy. Let's look at terrain. They don't like long grass. That's easy to fix. Hopefully, we can afford to do that.
There we go. Are the cats now happy? Yes, they are. We now just need to have enrichment. And the only way we can do that... Claim rewards. Cool. We've got money. Now, the only way we can make the cats even more happier uh, with their enrichment is by doing research. And the way we do research... Let's go to the research center. The way we do that... How do we do research again? Vet research. Here we go. Caracal. And we get you onto that. Cool. And once that's done, we will know what we can do to enrich this enclosure even further. It's a little bit bare bones at the moment. Let's just add a few more. Let's add this in. Bam. That might be a bit dangerous though, because the cat could probably go, ha 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 ha. Jump out. Let's move that. Now I can stay up the height that it is. Just have to move it away from the wall a little bit. Let's do something like that. There. And we probably want to build some more lights for the people. Excellent. Research is done. I'm just going to keep researching the caracal for as long as we possibly can. And we are also, we are also going to, so our final thing we're going to do for this episode is we're going to put in some enrichment for the animals. So, Caracal, what do you guys like for enrichment? We don't know yet. Excellent. So we're not doing that. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to educate the people. Here we go, educational stuff. Okay, now that we've got that. Info boards. Caracal. Bam. Cool. Alright. Now we need to sort out power. So now we need to go to... Yeah, utilities is what we want. We want power. We need a transformer. We're probably going to put that down here. And what we're going to do now is go to our work zones. Didn't come here to see the staff facilities. Yes, you did. Don't lie to me. Uh, we need to reduce the price of the info information. Okay, we can do that. The zoo feels pretty small. That will change very shortly. Okay, we've got info boards on the mend. We need to go to the zoo. We need to go to staff. We need to go to work zones. Now you got a maintenance work zone, and we need to add that to it. I don't know if these buildings require maintenance. Ah, staff facilities. What I mean by that is something like this. So we are probably going to just get some trees real quick. Bamboo. Helps if you spell it correctly. Bamboo. And we just go like this. Camouflaged. And then you put the smaller fountain bamboo. Oh. The more bushier fountain bamboo in front of that. And now you can't see anything. Magic. Right, now we need to address the costs of stuff. Finances. Nope. No. Nope. Memorials. Oh, we can create memorials. I didn't know you could do that. Right. Information disk. There's a high demand for it, but it is expensive. So I think what we need to do is actually click on it itself. Audio guide. Let's drop that down $1.75 adoption pack cheap adoption pack normal green umbrella umbrellas can go pretty cheap come on sell them for let's just make at least a profit of three dollars for each of those there we go people should be happy now to come to the information center after we've dropped the prices guess what it's too expensive is it because of the adoption packs as well Alright, let's drop that down to dollars, to eight dollars. Make this one, can I just type it in? Cool, we can. Make that one 15, make that one 25. No security, let's get a security guard before we leave for today. So zoo, staff, hire a security guard. Let's drop him into the world. Yeah. Vet has completed the next lot of research, and now we should know what the caracals want in terms of enrichment. 
Do I have to go to? I have to. Oh my gosh! I'm an I'm an absolute fool. Oh, that's quick. Elves, El, El vet's going straight for it. Oh, they're about to mate. Okay, Zoopedia enrichment. Right, they like blood scent. Oh, they like carcasses too. I I I knew it. Good old boxes. All right, let's get us a couple of cardboard boxes and a sprinkler on the go. How are you going in terms of enrichment? Almost there! Food enrichment! Carcass! They want, also would like a sprinkler. So let's just get uh, one of these. And let's just put a sprinkler over the side as well, just for good measure. Frozen blood pump. Oh, frozen blood pumpkin. Let's just do that one as well. Yeah, have a frozen blood pumpkin. That is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Planet Zoo and our first look into the Grasslands Animal Pack DLC. As always, I've been to Firecat. You have been watching Planet Zoo, and until next time, take care.